One year ago, we received an email asking us if we would like to get money for some footage. Imagine you get this mail. What would you think? A. It's a scammer. B. It's Nigerian royalty. Or C. It's actually Netflix wanting to pay you a thousand dollars for this footage? If you pick C, you're right. Netflix isn't the only one paying too much. Would you rent these 360 photo booths for thousands of dollars? People apparently do. Which is very good news for us, because we spent all our Netflix money on a camera, so we're broke again. A filmmaker wants to use our old rig to film someone doing a back. We need that money, but there's one small problem. The old rig broke because it was total jank, meaning we can't rent it out. It's time to build a better one. Before we start building, let's take some measurements on what time it takes to do a backflip and the optimal camera distance for perfect framing. Now that we know how long the arm should be, we've drawn a circle the arm will travel here on the ground. In our last rotating camera, we got a comment telling it was so slow it looked like a dude running around with a gimbal. This time we want to finish one whole rotation before the backflip is over, which would look something like this. Pretty fast, right? The spinning camera rig will center around this massive steel axle. It has one problem though. I know how to fix this. So using those parts and these laser cut parts as well, we'll just weld the spinning camera rig together. And with we, I of course mean stop. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm. I was watering the spinning camera rig because it, you know, it, it's a it's a small camera rig. It needs to grow a bit. And also, it's it's a thousand million degrees from welding. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, looks like it works. Oh, don't go too fast. Don't don't go too fast. <laughs> As you can see from the footage behind me. The machine is spinning at one rotation per second. One rotation per second means that at the end of the arm, the camera will be traveling at 50 kilometers or 31 miles per hour. Imagine getting hit by this heavy steel beam at that speed. Better yet, watch this watermelon get hit at the same speed the camera will be traveling. Ouch. Instead of using steel then, we'll use aluminium, which is a bunch lighter, which will soften the blow. So imagine you fall from the platform, you should be relatively safe. We should probably test that though. Okay, so this is how the aluminium tubes turned out and we just need to weld them together in like this shape. So let's get them to stop. More oh, welding. Do you know where Stan is? Because where the fuck is he? No, mate, I haven't seen him for hours. Where have you been? What? Is it, is it time for dinner yet? Mate, it's like. It's a three in the morning. Maybe I should go to bed? Yeah, you should. I need to finish this belt first, but. Hey Stan, wake up. Here's your lab coat. Now that the aluminium arm is done, we can start testing if it's actually as safe as we hope. To do this, a volunteer will jump off the platform into the spinning arm at increasing speeds. Uh, guys, uh, we still need to make the platform. While we are building the platform, we're also trying to build our own platform. So, if you like our videos, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. If you want to help out even more, also leave a comment. Your support is greatly appreciated. She's done!
Look at her. Oh, not, not me. Look at the machine. Look at the machine. Look at it. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at that sturdy steel base. Look at the platform. Boss can jump on it. It doesn't break immediately. Um, it wobbles a bit because that's because it's standing on grass, which is like super unstable. The arm turns beautifully smooth. And right over here, we have this. No, don't hit me. You go to hit boss. This beautiful machine. Maybe come a bit closer so you can see properly. Here, we have a switch. This one spins the camera the left way. This is off. That's the right way. And here, we can adjust the speed. So right now, it's spinning at 10%. And, um, well, to test the safety, boss. Yeet. Oh. Okay, that's fairly survivable. Yeah, I'm uh, speeding up her, her up to... Uh, 20? Yeah, let's do 20. This looks like it will hurt a bit more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurt already. Are you excited for 30%? No, not at all. This is really fast. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, mate? Yeah. You okay for 40? Yeah. Is this 50? Yeah, this is 50. Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, we can try 60. Is this 70? Um, yeah. <laughs> that was 90%. <laughs> I think we're done already. <laughs> but I think we can say that's reasonably safe, right? Or, or do you want to suffer more, boss? Shall we do like 1% hitting the head and then 2% hitting the head? I'm putting it on scent. Oh. <laughs> All right, try it a little bit faster. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Okay, that was 5%. <laughs> Next up is giving it a paint job because you know it's starting to rust a bit and it will look sexier. Yeah, let's just paint it black. I'm fine. Hello, fine. I'm Stom. Nice to meet you. So hi, this is Jasper. Jasper is a professional free runner, and he's going to do flips because we can't. Uh, Jasper, do you have anything to say before you do a flip? <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh! Thank you for watching. 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 Thanks 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 for watching. Thanks
Subscribe. 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 Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. 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 Wolfus is going to jump off and catch the camera into their balls. I am quite dizzy. Hello, quite dizzy, I'm Stan.